All right, look at this example. 4x equals 3x plus 11. I want to isolate x. And I notice here that there's an x on the left side, actually four of them, and then my variable x shows up on the right side, three x's right there. How do I solve this for x? Well, I'm going to add negative 3x to each side. That's basically the same thing as subtracting 3x from each side. So I'll rewrite this equation, but instead of 4x, I'll have 4x minus 3x on the left. And on the right, I also have to do an additional minus 3x. So you see, I've simply rewritten my original equation, but I've put a minus 3x on each side. I've added negative 3x to each side. Now what happens? On the left side, this 4x minus 3x, you should see that that is 1x, or just x. On the right side, my 3x and my minus 3x will cancel out. If I'm combining like terms, these are both x terms, and they go away because one is 3x and the other is negative 3x. So on the right, I'm left with simply 11. And the equation is solved. I now know x. x is 11. Here's another example that's similar. 6x equals 5x plus 3. Well, I need to get x all by itself. Right now, x exists in two places, on the left and on the right. So I need to get rid of it in one of those places. I'll get rid of the x on the right. There's a 5x on the right now. I can get rid of that by subtracting 5x. And if I subtract 5x over here on the right side, I have to subtract 5x on the left side. So I will now rewrite my equation, but I will put a minus 5x onto each side. 6x minus 5x is equal to 5x plus 3 minus 5x. And as before, on the left side, these are like terms. We can combine them. 6x minus 5x is 1x, which I write as just x. And on the right, I have a 5x and a minus 5x, which add up to 0. So I can strike them both out. And on the right side, I'm simply left with 3. So x equals 3.